this time I'm going to show you how to create rhythmic screen bumping effects using Adobe Premiere Pro. All you need is obviously some footage and a song that you want to use for the rhythm. Let me place the video footage in my timeline. I want to get rid of the audio. So I'll link it and I delete the audio file and I'll add a song. All right, now we're ready to start. You can see all of these marks that I've created. You can simply do that with the short key M. If you have no file selected, the timeline will be marked and if you select the file, press M, you have only the file marked. So it makes cutting a little bit easier. So just listen to the song and press M while having the video footage selected and you can create these marks. Let us take care of the first half as we can create basically two different bumping effects. First one is an animation. So we'll use our first video footage half to create that. Make sure that you've got the right point for your audio selected, where you've got maybe the bass or something like that. Then create your first keyframe. Go to the next position where the bass is playing in the auto file and create a new keyframe. Continue for as long as you want these bumps to appear in the video. And only the middle one has a higher scale. And you can see we can work with the position a little bit, so start an animation here as well by clicking on the stopwatch of position. Use these uh, left and right arrows to cycle through the keyframes that we've created. I will add resets for the position so that we've got that centered as the original. And only the middle keyframe has a different position. And this is what this animation effect does. Just look at the numbers. When I move it a little bit around, you can see they are changing gradually as they are animated. A different bumping effect is to use bump cuts. And that's why I've created these markers. Just cut your video footage at every marker. And then we'll go to every second part of the video footage and will increase the scale. Maybe change the position a little bit in this one. So here's our third video file. We need to keep it at 100. The fourth one once again needs a higher scale. And we'll look at the position. Or oh, we can keep that, it's fine. Next one. It's our final one and we want to go back to 100 again. Let me show you the full clip. So here's our animation. And now it changes to the bump cuts. So it zooms in and zooms out in rapid succession. And these markers, they should be set to the rhythm of the audio file that you're using. And this is how you can create these rhythmic screen bumps in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.